Hey, it's Kimmy. Um, obviously there's something different about me and it's my hair. Um, I just want to like get this out of the way because there's going to be comments being like, why'd you do that to your hair and stuff. I'll explain. So, see it's like, like you can see right here it's kind of purple. And like, if I bring my ponytail over, it's kind of coming up because I've washed my hair. But like, also I got bangs. But, it's purple, you just can't see it in this light. Sorry. But, I will why I did it so like I went to the salon and they had to bleach my hair and like I had blonde hair for a few minutes and then they put the purple dye in and it took freaking forever because I was like there for freaking three hours getting my hair done because they had to bleach it put the color in like they had to bleach it and wait for the bleach to take all the color out and it was blonde and then they put the purple in <laughs> so yeah and I got bangs because I was like really debating like I was getting my nails done that day and it was right before we were gonna go and I was like should I get bangs because like I'm getting kind of sick of my hair like I, I just want to do something crazy with my hair and like because like why not so I got bangs and I was like mom should I get bangs she's like yeah you should do and I was like asking all my friends and everybody just like should i get bangs i don't know if i'll look good with it and i was like i am so glad that i got bangs because i look good but there are some people who were like why'd you dye your hair purple what kind of mexican dyes your hair purple i was like this one they're like your name mexican you're white i was like just because i dyed my hair purple does not mean i'm white like i'm mexican i'm half white half mexican I'm freaking get over it i not painted almost i painted my hair purple i dyed my hair purple get over it, I can do what I want. I'm so like, there's still people giving me crap about dyeing my hair purple. Also, a couple of things have happened. I broke up with Drew. I don't know if I told you, but we broke up the first time because he cheated on me and then I forgave him and we got back together for a while. And then I broke up with him again because he was growing really distant and like, I felt like I couldn't talk to him because any time I was sad or anything, he'd just blame it on himself and not even try to help me. He'd just be like, oh, this is my fault. I should hurt myself for it. Like, you don't blame it on yourself. You help your girlfriend. So I left him and then there's a senior at Asa who had liked me for a while. And he's like, when I was still dating Drew, he was like really demanding about it. He's like, if we're ever both single, we're going to date. I was like okay whatever so we dated for like freaking was it two weeks and he had been to my house once and he left me because he's like oh i can't handle a girlfriend right now because i have all this stuff going on i was like if you can't handle a girlfriend why did you ask me out in the first place like really like because i was really hurt when i left drew because like he cheated on me freaking oh my god this is not something you do and so I leave him and I was like alone because I have lost all my friends because they have lost freaking all respect for me because I'm always sad. I push people away now because I'm just scared to get close to them. Don't want to get hurt like I, like Drew hurt me. Um, so like all my friends have left me. I have maybe like one or two but like they're like not, they're friends but they're not like close friends that I can tell them anything and I used to have friends. So they left my friends left me and i left drew and i had nobody so i was like okay i'll go to asa because like there's literally nobody else and like i don't say that in a bad way like i just go to whoever's next like i actually cared about asa because he has a heart problem and um it really hurts him sometimes so like i got really scared for him and i like was there for him he just leaves me out of nowhere he's like oh i can't handle a girlfriend right now like really we're not getting back together because you hurt me too like, do you realize how you hurt me? Like, I was alone. I didn't have anybody. So I came to you, and you helped me for a little bit, and then just leave me with nothing. So now I'm being this guy, Isaiah, and oh my god, he's fucking amazing, I swear. Isaiah, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> okay. He really makes me happy. Because he gets what I'm going through. I'm scared to get too close to him because what if something happens to us and he hurts me or I leave him or something happens. I'm just really scared to get too close because if something happens between us and we break up, I don't want to be hurt again. 
With Asa, it didn't hurt that much because I didn't allow myself to get that close to him, but it still really hurt. And that's why I don't want to get close to anybody. He fucking understands me. He gets, like, stuff I'm going through. If I'm sad or anything, he'll, like, call me, text me, Skype me, and be like, It's okay. I'm here for you. You can tell me anything. And, like, even in person, he'll say that to my face. Nobody's ever done that for me. And, like... It makes me feel really safe and secure, like I have someone I can rely on. He's not gonna hurt me, but I still have that unsettling feeling in my stomach or my head or whatever that I'm too scared to get too close because I don't want to get hurt again. <laughs> Sorry if this is getting really sad, but like, I'm just like giving you an update of what's happened. And like, yeah, I broke up with Drew, got with Isa, and now Isaiah, like, there has to be a story behind it, and this is the story behind it. So, yeah. And for Christmas, since we're probably not going to see each other, me and Isaiah, um, he got me the necklace, the ying. I think this is ying. Pretty sure. If it's not, I'm sorry. But he got me this necklace, and he has the other half, and he wears it around his wrist because he doesn't like to wear it around his neck. And then he got me a three video games. He got me Silent Hill, Downpour, Assassin's Creed 3 and GTA, I think it's the fifth one? Maybe? And then, he got me a Harley Quinn pop doll because Harley Quinn's amazing. So yeah, and I may have mentioned this in another video or not, but since the cheer season is over at CT where I go, um, I didn't really like cheer that much because like I'm not that much of a preppy preppy girl, like you guys know this. So I just like wanted to be part of a team and a group and like belong somewhere at CT. So I don't just want to be the freaking nobody new girl nobody cared about. Like you know what I mean. And so now I'm doing color guard at Eagle Crest. And you guys know that in California I did color guard. I don't really explain to people but like color guard was such a big part of my life. So yeah I'm doing that now. And we're practicing for our competition. And the theme of our show is Up, like the movie Up, which is amazing because that is such a good movie. Like, I cry every time at that movie, no matter what. Um, so yeah, can't really see my purple hair in this lighting. I'll put in a picture at the end of the video of my hair and a couple pictures of me and Isaiah so that, like, you guys know what he looks like and you know what my hair looks like in better lighting because it's kind of hard to see right now, but it is purple. So, yeah, that's about it. Bye.